Hi guys, I hope you're having a wonderful vacation. Welcome back to the channel. In Sweden, the summer has been a little uh, give and take, but here we are and it happened again. Some guy reached out to me uh, via Facebook and just asked me if I wanted to feature two of his watches on the channel and he actually drove to my house and delivered them passing through from his town to another town on his vacation and that's really great so he uh, I'm gonna vi shoot the Zin 103 and a really cool Swedish watch from a watchmaker I've never heard of EC Anderson the Calypso Denise it's a watch that really blew my mind and I'm gonna show it to you guys it's a really cool watch and I I, I I had I didn't expect expect anything and when I opened it up I really fell in love with it and I'm glad to show you this watch on this channel so let's just flip the camera around and take a look at it As I uh, said in the other video, a big thanks to Andreas Gustafsson for making this possible. He sent me the Zin 103 and when we were talking about the Zin 103 and if I wanted to feature it on my channel, which I obviously did want to, he also mentioned he had another watch, a watch called E.C. Anderson, a Swedish watch. And this is it right here. And he asked me, do you want me to uh, give you that to make a video of as well? And I said, sure, why not? Featuring Swedish watches on a watch channel that's run for, uh, by a guy from Sweden. Perfect. Uh, and when I saw what's inside here, it really blew my mind. And I'm happy to show this watch to you guys right now. Here we have it, the Rolex GMT Master 2 on my wrist. But let's take a look at this Swedish marvel of a watch. We have nothing special, cardboard box. And here we have the EC Anderson Watch Company, the Denise. It's actually called the Calypso Denise Manual and Instructions. And this is a really uh, odd feature to have on a watch. You can actually use this watch as a compass by uh, screw, uh, messing around with the bezel and setting it uh, setting the our hand towards the sun and then messing around with the bezel I'm not gonna show you this because in my day-to-day -day life I really don't have to know which way is north all the time but maybe for some maybe for some and it's a cool way to um, differentiate yourself and your watch from other watches by uh, having this feature and this is uh, all about how you're uh, how you're supposed to do that and we have uh, instruction of about the service and warranty time graph readings uh, yeah so let's take a look at what we have in the box in the box as we usually do ec anderson watch company and this is a beauty this is something when I open this up, uh, you know me. I said I could feature this watch because I said I thought why not? The more videos, the merrier for everyone. And it's a cool thing that it's a Swedish watch. I'm probably not going to be blown away. But when I opened up the box, I mean, I really love the look of this watch. But before we look at the watch, we have to go through the usual stuff: warranty card, international warranty two years if you register online it, they give you one more year here we have <laughs> serial number bought August 2019 we have the little taggy cool logo EC Anderson from Gothenburg warranty three years and here we have the result of the timekeeping test three seconds per day 
it's also a nice detail to have with your watch but let's take this baby out and take a look at it I'm not gonna show you the clasp yet because actually the clasp is one of the coolest clasps I've seen uh, in a while now so uh, let's here we have it EC Anderson from Gothenburg and actually they chose to write Gothenburg in Swedish Göteborg also a cool touch automatic watch look at the profile it's a pretty square off watch it looks square in a way but I think it actually looks really cool with the uh, body mainly being brushed and we have the polished details done exquisitely signed crown beautiful watch and it's cool that we have something with an original look it's not a homage it's not trying to be something else it's its own watch we have the Jubilee bracelet polished middle brushed links and then look at the clasp it's a big beefy beautiful clasp with the logo this is not subtle in the least big logo but it looks perfect ECA at the top all brushed with some polished details on the edges it looks beautiful and now you're wondering why is there two pair of pairs of pushers the one is to open the clasp and there it is but the other one is for the perfectly micro adjustment on the fly this is done so beautifully I really love it when watches have micro adjustment on the fly even my Rolex doesn't have that the Submariner has it but they don't have it on the GMT master and I really appreciate this because my wrist actually changes a lot in the summer uh, in the evening it's smaller at the day when it's uh, at its hottest it's it gets bigger and I would love to have micro adjustment on my other watches and we have it here perfect really nice touch we have the case back beautiful let's show it to you it's some kind of a I think it's a whale or some kind of a no, I think it's supposed to be viewed from this way no it's not a whale. yeah I think that that might be a whale and then we have a lighthouse and a ship right there EC Anderson and also in Swedish professional diver, professional diver Calypso Denise and the model number right there beautiful case back let's try it on and then I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the specifications and you can see it's it's kind of a square uh, watch it looks really square but when you put it on it feels wonderful and it looks great uh, this is a watch if I had the money to spend right now on a watch I would actually go out straight out and buy one of these but you can't because they're sold out uh, on the website but it's a really cool watch the coolest Swedish watch I've tried out uh, in my lifetime it's beautiful I like the chunky Jubilee bracelet I love the clasp I really like it uh, you know I have said it in other videos I like when the clasps are a little bit longer but this is perfectly it's short but it's really big and beefy and yet you don't feel it on the wrist it doesn't feel chunky under your wrist it's just there there you have the north marking on the bezel insert I'm gonna take it off now and I'm gonna talk a little bit about the specifications here the movement inside this watch is called a caliber EC a N E zero one but that's it's a modified Seiko NE 57 a lot of companies do this they 
uh, modify a, a movement and then they call it their own I'm just gonna polish it off a little there we go the diameter of the watch is 40 millimeters thickness 14 millimeters lug width 20 millimeters tapers down to 18 and then we go back up to 22 at the clasp I've never seen that before but I am loving it we have a sapphire crystal with AR coating if you can see that it shines a little blue in some angles here Thir 316 L stainless steel all over the watch 200 meters water resistance as I said micro adjustments on the clasp ceramic bezel with compass features as you can see we have an N right there and as I showed you before in the instructions manual the t they tell you how to use this bezel to spot where the true north is let's uh, check the bezel action out really affirming clicks stays in position when you put it in position basically no movement in between really precise perfectly aligned perfectly executed I actually went one step too far there <laughs> sorry I have to correct it because I can't proceed with the video if I didn't correct that one <sighs> So what do you have to say? This is actually, when I saw the watch, I really loved it and I really like it. Uh, the only gripe that I would have, but it's not a gripe, but it, it looks, I would have loved if the bracelet somehow integrated better with the case because it, it, it looks good, but I, I feel that the gap here could have been done in another way. Uh, so we d didn't have those protruding lugs right there. It could have been smoother in some way. I don't know how. I'm not a technical engineer, but uh, I think that maybe it could have been done a little better. But uh, otherwise, it's a perfectly executed watch with a cool design of its own, and uh, I'm blown away by it. The only thing I, I really think is unfortunate is the price it's one thousand uh, dollars and not in this configuration you have to pay extra for the bracelet and one thousand uh, dollars for a Swedish brand watch yeah sure it's cool but one thousand dollars for a Seiko movement I don't know about that I I, um, I don't know if I would be willing to pay that for uh, this kind of a watch I mean you can get a used Oris uh, for $1,000 and uh, I don't know I really like the watch but I really think it's unfortunate that it costs as much as it does if it was like six seven hundred dollars I would consider buying it right away uh, and even though the true north uh, is a cool feature to have I would actually never use it um it's cool that it, that it's there and it's and it's doing something uh, special it's doing something going your own way but i don't know who would ever use it and i don't know why you would ever use it because if if you're hiking i guess it's it's not in other ways i mean if you just check the watch out sure it looks sturdy and well done but it doesn't look like a hiking watch if you want to go hiking you could you could take a g-shock with you you don't have to take uh, i don't know it's a cool watch i'm just getting a, away from the subject it's a really cool watch and i love it i love the looks of it i love the feel it feels high quality and i would want to own one of these but the movement inside drags it down a little and i don't really get the true north uh, detail i don't get why but sure it's a cool feature so why not but anyway 
that has been a look at the EC Anderson Calypso Denise. I want to say thank you to um, Andreas Gustafsson once again. Without you, it wouldn't be possible to show this watch to you guys. And here we go, guys. The loom on the EC Anderson Calypso Denise. Really good loom on this watch. And I forgot to mention this in my video, but the um, half circle in the middle there, that's the power indicator. As you can see, it's only half of it is loomed. And you can see the arrow in the middle right there shows that it's powered up almost to the maximum. That's a cool touch. They only choose to loom half of the power indicator. Really cool design. It take on the loom right there. And as you can see, we have illuminated bezel with a really strong illuminated pip at the 12 o'clock. Powerfully loomed hour and minute hands. And you can see the second hand ticking away. And this is as far as I can reach with my hand from the camera, as you can see. Perfectly legible, even at a distance. A really good loom on this watch. There you have it. So, if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing. If you don't like it, don't uh, feel free to give me a thumbs down. Just tell me what you didn't like and I'll try to do better the next time. But until I see you again, I hope you have a wonderful summer and bye bye.